Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. So today the kids are napping, they're doing quiet time upstairs. So what I wanna do and like use this time for is I need to clean out my fridge, um, I need to clean out the freezer. I started like organizing my kitchen in the last video I think that I put up, if not, I'll link it down below, but I organized my kitchen, organized the pantry, organized all the cabinets, all of that, and it feels wonderful in here now, but the thing that still like remains looking like a uh, caca right now is the actual freezer and the fridge. So we're gonna try to organize it today. I'm gonna literally like take every single thing out of here and like see what I have, see if there's a better like system for me to like plan out my meals and figure out what's even in here because I definitely don't take advantage of my freezer and fridge like I should. Like it ends up just being a cluttered mess and then I never know what I have and then I stress because I don't know what to make. Um, there's stuff in here that's expired. There's stuff in here that probably looks it's like a science experiment. There's stuff in here that's probably brought in. So let me just show you a nice little before and then we'll get to work. So this is a before shot of my fridge. Again, we are friends here. I mean, if you're new, welcome be my friend because you guys are gonna see a lot of stuff today. But if you guys are regular here, you're my friends and you, you guys are pretty good about not giving me our time. But this is what it looks like, right? We've got leftovers, we've got sourdough discard, we've got like I just made cookies yesterday. There's like Pedialyte all the way back there from like when the kids were sick. Um, like half eaten, like you guys are gonna see this is embarrassing. I forgot that this was in here. There's like a half eaten cheesecake <laughs> that I had the other day that I was like, well, maybe I'll just like leave it and I'll have the other half the next day and then I didn't. So that's in there. Um, yeah, starting off great. Uh, we've got this basket that I did use, like I started this system of like keeping at least a couple baskets in here. The last time that I organized the fridge, but it's been a while and I need to just go through everything again. I've got my veggies in here that, again, you can't even see what's in here. So I end up having a lot of stuff that just goes bad. Um, the fruit, the kids eat a lot of fruit, but like stuff ends up just being in here for a really long time. And then we've got the cheese drawer, which like goodbye. I, I can't even, I can't even deal with this at this moment. Um, so we're going to tackle all of that. And then the freezer is really what I haven't gone through in a very, very long time. So this is what the freezer looks like. I actually just got these. Have any of you guys tried them? Because I'm dying to try them. I picked them up at Target the other day when I went, but I've heard good things. So maybe I'll treat myself to some of those while I actually go through this process. I'm sure these popsicles of the kids have been there for like a year and we've never had them. So I uh, got to work on some of that. And then down here, we've got more freezer space. So. There is space, but it just, it's not used correctly. So we're gonna try to get to work on that today. All right, so I'm gonna put you guys down on the tripod. I think I'm gonna start off with the freezer because that's like what I've been dying to just like get into. Um, I don't know if you guys have any systems for like how you use your freezer. Like do you keep all of your meat in the freezer? Do you like keep it organized by like meal? Like if there's any tips that you have that like you found that have helped you in meal planning and cooking for your kids and cooking for yourselves, like. Let me know because I'm, I'm gonna be trying to figure out what's gonna be the easiest for us. If you do happen to be new here, Joe and I, we have um, like, this is our fridge and our freezer upstairs, but down in the basement, we have another freezer that's like a whole meat freezer where we keep the majority of our meat and then we end up kind of like bringing in a couple pieces of meat like for the week or that we want more like on hand accessible here in the kitchen then we'll put them here um but for the most part our freezer is down in the basement and then we also have another refrigerator and freezer downstairs where we keep just like backup things like our backup stock of things so this isn't the only place that we have to keep like the frozen food stuff but it's the stuff that I want to have when I'm like trying to feed the kids and like when I'm trying to make them breakfast and all of that. So I'm going to pull everything out. I know that it can't be out very long, but I need to like first see what I have, see what I'm going to throw away. If you're highly offended by throwing away food, I'm very sorry. Turn off this video and not watch it right now because I'm sure, like I said, that there's stuff that's been in here for a very long time. I don't like to waste food, which is why I want to do this because I don't like seeing stuff go bad. I like knowing that the food that I have, I'm actually eating. And when it's like all crumbled up like this and like all the way at the bottom of the freezer, I can't even see what I have. So that's why we are doing what we're doing today. And I'm hoping that this will be something that helps me a little bit in the kitchen because I struggle. I struggle to feed the kids. I've got a four year old and a two year old. If you guys are new here, which again, like I have this frozen teether thing. Jackson does not use teethers. He hasn't in like years. So why is this in here? I can definitely give this away. Oh, now you're gonna hear like the annoying little 
a little freezer thing. Got another key there, so like these we can donate. They don't need to be taking up space here. And then like I have a bunch of random foods that like I tried for Jackson one time, like to get him to eat. Like I tried these at some point and he never ate them. So, I mean, they're not expired yet, so maybe I can try again, but I need to not have a bunch of stuff here. Oh, look, I've got a magnet from when the kids play on the refrigerator um, and they learn their alphabets and stuff. Another tea there. All of this can go. And then I'm gonna have Joe come in here and take a look at the meat, because like, I don't know like when meat is bad. Like, I, I don't know anything about that. Like, I'm sure some of this meat expires, but like, when do you know that it's like, I don't know, it's been in the freezer too long. Is that a thing? You can have it in here too long. I'm sure it, it must be. So we'll see. Got another magnet. So let's get to work here. Okay, so here's everything that I pulled out of the freezer. This is all the stuff that I need to go through and like organize, toss, whatever is old that I'm not gonna eat. And then I gave at least the, you know, the freezer a little wipe down. It's not perfect, okay? But this is way better than it was before. I didn't even know that this drawer like slides, by the way. So that is new information for me. So maybe like, maybe I put it in the middle and then I have like three compartments. Look at that. That alone is like mind blowing to me. And then I've got this one over here that I also didn't know slides. So. We're gonna try to organize things. Uh, yeah, that's all the food from the freezer. Joe just got in from working out, but I had like a bunch of Reese's that have been in the freezer because that's the best way to eat Reese's is frozen. Um, but we've got everything from like these, like what are these, the uh, alcohol, uh, puckerberry. They're like popsicles, but with alcohol in them that we should just eat at this point. I should just drink it right now while I'm <laughs> doing this disaster. And then there's like old breakfast sandwiches that I'm just literally never gonna eat. So we're gonna go through this now and I'll, I'll let you guys know how it's going. All right, so I organized everything into at least like different piles. So I've got like meats over here and like chicken nuggets, stuff that I give to the kids, um, like just other quick and easy meats that we have for dinners and stuff in there. And then all of that is veggies. So peas, these potatoes are gonna be thrown out because I don't know how long they are that they've been sitting there, probably for two years. Um, so stuff like that I need to go through. Then I've got desserts over here. Again, like I've had these Reese's cups in there forever. Will they stay in there? Possibly. Then I've got breads over here. And like a lot of them, like I've got all these breakfast sandwiches that we bought one time and just we don't even like breakfast sandwiches like that. So they don't really need to be sitting here. And then I have fruits over here for smoothies. So these definitely I want to keep, but I don't know, like there's some like half open bags that maybe I can consolidate. So I'm gonna go through and kind of toss what I don't need. Okay, so it's incredible just like what half an hour of your life can do. 
to because the freezer looks amazing now like so much better than it did before so let me show you what we did we did end up having to toss a bunch of stuff that just was sitting there that we was just taking up space and i hate it but this for my mental health is gonna be so much better. Jackson is crying upstairs because he woke up. So if you hear him, that is what's happening. Um, but this is our freezer now. <laughs> like what a difference. Like just the fact that I now have those three compartments is huge. So what I did is I did here like smoothie stuff, like frozen berries and all of that. I even found some of my old breast milk, you guys, that I keep frozen because I've been wanting to get like breast milk jewelry done where you send like pieces of your breast milk and like they make rings and stuff, but I haven't gotten around to it. Now I know where this is and now I can send that to get done. So we've got that and then just more smoothie stuff. We've got our ice creams here, a couple ice packs, and then more desserts. Um, some of these holy rollies that are really good. It's like a nice treat. These are cake pops that we made the other day that we keep frozen so that we can make them whenever we want to and then some of the favorite day molten lava cakes that i can't wait to try and then we're gonna keep up here also like french toast for the kids waffles that kind of stuff that we eat a lot of and then down here like again just such a difference between like what we had before and now what i can actually see like i know what is in here and hopefully this will help me like when i'm trying to figure out what we're gonna eat for dinner and all of that so we're gonna do meats here the kids chicken nuggets all of that any meat that i want to make um for dinners and stuff will be here and then over here on this side we have like veggies and then like texas toast i keep my flour tortillas frozen um because they tend to last a little longer that way so just veggies and breads that's kind of what we have over here like side dishes for dinners so uh yeah so far so good you guys okay sorry i had to number one go get jackson because he woke up from his nap so now joe's playing with him in the train over there um and i also had to change because i'm like suffocating today because here in virginia like it's now like 60 degrees which is super hot compared to how it's been so i'm like dying in the house in a sweater so anyway let's keep going um we're gonna work on the refrigerator now um if it can look even just a little bit nicer than it is now that'll be a win like just the fact that we did the freezer you guys that that's huge that we did that so i'm gonna do the same thing that i did with the freezer take everything out um then that way i can like sort things i can wipe down the fridge because i'm sure i can use a good wipe down and then hopefully after that like it won't take too long and then we'll be done for the day right So the doors are done. They look a million times better. I got rid of a bunch of stuff that I didn't need, that I didn't use, that had just been kind of like stuffed here. So I've got like the kids' milks and things that we drink on the side. And then most of what else we keep here is just like the jams and butter and things for cooking. Like nothing super exciting here. Ketchup, mustard, mayo, all of that for sandwiches. My mojo for when I cook. So just different things like that. Um, 
I keep there. So now we need to tackle the rest. And I think, I don't know, I may do like drawer by drawer first here and then tackle everything else because I need to do it little by little. Like this helped, just doing the like the doors first. So maybe we tackle, like I don't want to say it, but we have to go <laughs> through the cheese drawer because this is, this is ridiculous. So let's, let's do that. Everything that was there, this is about all that's I mean, left. I don't know why we're keeping these packs. Like, I know it's that we use and like we save just like a tiny little bit of the cheese. Like, if we have other packs, we can stuff. consolidate Fiesta it. Blend, Fiesta blend. I know we can consolidate some of it, but out of all that stuff that was in there, this is like the stuff that's actually still good and that we're actually going to eat. So, at least we've pared that down. Here, wait, this is killing me. The little there you go, thank you very much. Okay, cheese drawer looking better right here so we've got like all of our cheeses and then we got sandwich meat and like prosciutto and stuff and then some bacon that we can cook over here so that looks also a million times better now oh it looks like there's something stuck in the back something probably fell through that's that's nice um but we're gonna tackle these two drawers next all right so we've got veggies here i wish that i had like better containers to like put things in at the moment, I do not. Um, if you have any that you recommend that you like, let me know down below. But for now, I just kind of like throw everything here. So I just gotta go through it. I'm sure there's stuff I can get rid of. Wipe it down. And like you see, like I've got this random onion here. Right, so this is um, fruits and I can still you know try to you know do some more things to it to make it a little bit more functional but for now this is just like one of those shoe bins that um, I keep like the kids toys and stuff in so it was empty so I can keep some stuff here and then ideally like all of this fruit would be washed and like ready to go but for now I think this will at least make it a little bit more appealing to reach for it and less of you know everything just being piled up on top of each other so this i think should at least help for now so the last thing you guys that we have to do is tackle everything up top so uh let's see how long it takes us to do that by the way you guys i'm officially exhausted um we started like i started like around two and it's like 3 45 now and we still are not done so it's one of those things that like i needed to carve out this time to get it done because and that's that joe is home today so he's able to like help me and kind of keep the kids entertained this is definitely not the thing that would be super easy to do with the kids running around and usually like even if i'm just unloading like the groceries from the car like the kids are here like ready to like eat all the food and asking for things so it's good that joe's here today that he can help with this and that's you know one of the reasons why i kept getting put like on the back burner so if you also want to tackle your fridge i challenge you guys um to do it sometime this week carve out two hours or even if you have to do like one hour one day do your freezer and then do um 
you know your fridge another day like kind of separate it i'm here doing it all the same day and filming it which you know takes a little bit longer so if you guys do get to it um and you decide to i don't know that this video gave you some inspiration some motivation then that would be great and if you have an instagram um like take a picture of it and tag me on it so i can see that you guys got it done too that will make me super happy it'll be like all of this pain that i'm going through right now was at least worth something and like you know getting you guys to do it too so anyway let's just keep going and that way we can be done and i can then worry about about cooking and <laughs> making more of us in the kitchen. Got to now take everything out of here. We're gonna have to have like a section for leftovers that gets thoroughly looked at. All right guys, so we are finally done. And that was like the best use of two hours of our life. It's like 4.10 now. So um, I'm so happy I'm gonna show it to you guys. Like Joe is thrilled, imagine. Like he is like walking on cloud nine right now. So this is something that needed to be done. And I wanted to show you too, like that you can do this without a bunch of fancy containers because we don't have any fancy containers. So um, let me just turn you guys around and show you what it looks like now. All right, so I hope that you guys remember what it looked like before, okay? Terrible before. Now, let's take a look at the after. <laughs> so I think that we made huge progress in here. Um, I already showed you guys the doors and what they look like. So we moved the, the milks a little bit forward because like this is the stuff that we're reaching for the most. The kids' milks, like Jackson drinks this milk and then we drink the 1%. Um, and I don't think I moved too many things around here, but this is what the fridge looks like now. So um, we did the cheese drawer. We decided to keep like all of the cheeses down here, even like the kids' snack cheese, like the Baybells and like their, you know, Paw Patrol string cheese and stuff. Everything, all the deli stuff is there. And then the fruits and then the veggies over here. And then what we've done before is like I keep all of Jackson and Riley's like applesauce pouches. They all go here. And then all of Jackson's like little pouches. We've got like some Once Upon a Farm ones. Um, we've got just like some random Walmart ones. He likes those. The ones that are a little bit fruitier. So sometimes he'll eat them. So I keep them all there. And then in this container here is where I keep all the yogurts. So we've got the yogurt that Joe and I have been eating. And then I've got... Um, some animals for the kids. Sometimes I have the Stonyfield yogurt for the kids, so I'll put some of those there too. Right now I just have like a whole milk one for Jackson that I'll put like some honey in and he'll sometimes eat that. I have some of my coconut yogurt. So we like yogurt, so yogurt, sour cream, I keep here. And then the idea with the rest of the fridge, you guys, is that we have space here. Like if I make a casserole or if I make something, if I'm baking, if I'm cooking, I can put something there. And then we have a couple drinks. Like the only thing that I really drink in terms of like soda is ginger ale. So I've got ginger ale. And then I have my sourdough starter. Um, this is Jeff. This is like the whole wheat starter that I keep in the fridge now. And then this is actually sourdough discard, which is like the stuff that, you know, you toss so that you can make room for more, but you can cook with it. So I keep it there in the back of the fridge and I can pull it out when I'm making a recipe that calls for some sourdough discard. And then I put these two little containers too that I had in the basement. Um, I put them here just so that we can kind of like keep things contained. So I have like pasta sauce, any kind of like sauce for a recipe or something that we use that we have leftovers or whatever, whatever, I can keep there. And then over here, this is like the sweets bin. So like I baked cookies yesterday. We also have to make cinnamon rolls there. We have macaroons um, or macarons. I don't know how to say that word. Okay, so forgive me. Don't come for me because I don't know how to say macaroons, macarons, whatever. Um, so we'll have like a sweets bin. 
and then we have our eggs up here salad and spinach we have all the time and then these are like little veggies that we had prepped for the kids that they're actively eating i mean i could put it with like the rest of the veggies if we run out of space but like this i kind of remind myself to give that to them and then this is um just like meats that we've prepped for the week so we have like chicken breast and skirt steak and these are pork chops that joe cooked on the grill the other day but like any kind of leftovers that we get um we can keep them up there anything that we like cook or meal prep we can keep up there so at least it's not overcrowded and everything looks nice and clean joe cleaned the fridge really nice which like dear lord knows that it needed it so i'm very much a happy camper right now and i feel like my life is forever changed so that is gonna be it you guys um joe went outside to like hose off we had like some tupperwares in there with like other like sourdough discard that i just needed to get rid of so he went with the hose outside to like clear up some of the containers that we had but that is it um thank you guys for being here i'm gonna go relax i think i've earned myself some time to relax um if if you guys enjoyed these organizing cleaning kind of decluttering videos uh, let me know if you want to see more let me know how you feel about them I have a lot of spaces like I've been saying in my videos I have a lot of spaces in my house that I want to kind of get to finally you know and tidy and declutter and organize because that's kind of like the zone that I'm in right now I feel like it's been helping me with my anxiety it's been helping me with just my overall like mood so like the fact that we did this is helping big time so I love your freaking faces. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.